Hi, um, my name is Jessica Knatzer. I'm doing the video interview for the Primate Rescue Center, so I'm just going to go through the questions and answer them, I guess, as best as I can. Uh, it says, start with telling us a bit about yourself. Um, my name is Jessica. I went to Boyle County High School. Um, I'm from Danville, Kentucky. I went to Eastern Kentucky University in the fall of 2010. I'm an animal studies major. Um, I guess that's all about myself. What do you do for a living or what extracurricular activities are you involved in at school? I'm currently a resident advisor in Palmer Hall, which is a freshman uh, residence hall. I've been an RA for two years now. Last year I did upperclassmen. Um, as far as extracurriculars, we do a lot of programs, so we'll take the residents out to like uh, just different things that Eastern has going on on campus, so I usually go to that. I go to um, things like Possibilities for Student Success, which is where they bring people bring in their dogs, and it's kind of like a therapy thing for the more stressful times of the year, so I enjoy doing that. Why do you want to work with primates? Um, well, I think like a lot of people, I'm interested in primates a lot for their intelligence. Um, it's just a really great opportunity to work with animals that generally I'd never be able to work with. Um, and I'd just really like to have the pleasure of kind of meeting all of them and learning about them, learning uh, their individual personalities. Um, and I guess more than that, like one of my professors that I have is a primatologist. He's gone to Madagascar a lot and studied, I think, both ringtail and crown lemurs. So I've kind of learned a lot about primates from him. I've had primate ecology and sociality, and then right now we're learning about primate conservation. Um, have you worked with wild animals before? Um, unfortunately, I haven't really had that much experience. Mostly my interaction with animals has been like domestic animals. Um, for a really short time, I did volunteer at Wolf Run, um, and I really I liked it in the sense that I had the opportunity to meet the animals and interact with them and kind of help them, but I also felt as though, I guess, um, proper precautions weren't really taken to ensure both my safety and the safety of the animals there, so I didn't pursue that for very long, um, but it was really great to kind of meet the animals for a while. Uh, so why do I want to intern at the Primate Rescue, Rescue Center specifically as opposed to other animal facilities? I think one of the big points um, that I just kind of mentioned was safety. It just seems like a really great facility as far as like how it's managed, how it's structured. You can see there's a lot of emphasis placed on the safety of both the people and the primates. And I like that the center respects the, the past of the primates. They have the opportunity to interact with each other and they don't have to really worry about a lot of the public coming in um, and causing them undue stress, um, but they have a lot of a lot of really good care going on, so I really like that. Um, I also have a pretty busy schedule as far as school um, and also my, my job because they kind of go to, at the same time. So I really like that the Primary Rescue Center offers me the summer option where I can drive um, and I'm not kind of bound by, by classes or anything like that. So it's pretty close to my house. So that's convenient for me and I really like that aspect about it. Um, I'm also kind of looking forward to the center because of the people that are there. I know a lot of the people have like great experience, uh, great knowledge that I could definitely um, take from them and, and learn and improve myself. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, have you applied to other inter internship programs? Currently or in the past? No, this is my first choice. This is the only place I've applied to. I hope I don't have to apply to anymore. Um, where do you see yourself in five years? Right now, I'm kind of debating um, my master's. I'm, I'm going back and forth about whether or not I want to get a master's degree in marine biology. It's kind of a matter of where I would go, how I would pay for it, um, how I would get the scholarship money and stuff, so I'm thinking about that, but um, in either case, whether I go to graduate school or if I don't, I'd love to be working with 
any kind of animals really, but I think my favorite thing would be marine mammals. Um, I'd really like to be working at some kind of care facility or a sanctuary. Um, but like I said, I'd really be happy working with any kind of animals. I just hope that whatever I do is something positive and something helpful. Um, just to help animals have a better life wherever they are. What is the most boring job or task you've ever done? Um, I think as far as like a boring task at work, um, it's not really a task per se. It's a lack of being busy, a lack of a task. Um, I think one of the most boring situations was I had um, a specific department that I was in charge of. I I'm supposed to stock it, um, take the boxes away, clean the department, make sure everything's safe, make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. And I'd done that. Um, and I didn't have any breaks coming up, and I just didn't have anything to do for about two hours. So I think the monotony of kind of not having anything to do bothers me. But as long as I have something to do, I'm, I'm usually pretty good. I just don't like to, I guess, have idle time and not be productive. Um... Do you prefer working alone or as a member of a team? I don't have a problem working alone. Like, I feel like I get things done pretty well, and I guess it's kind of better to not be distracted sometimes, but I honestly would prefer to work in a team. I think, um, I mean, it makes whatever you're doing easier, definitely. Uh, the time goes faster, and it's nice to have someone to talk to, but beyond that, I think especially if you're trying to kind of solve a problem, it's better to have more than one person, more than one perspective, um, people kind of talking back and forth, working on the same thing together. I think it kind of provides the best outcome that way when you have more than one perspective. Um, and furthermore, that's just another time that you can kind of share what you know with, with the person, with the people around you. So I would prefer to work in a team, but I'm fine either way. Um, what do you do in your spare time? Any hobbies? Uh, for my spare time, mostly I spend a lot of time with my family. I just kind of grew up in a household where a lot of emphasis was placed on like family bonds. So I usually spend a lot of my free time uh, going shopping with my mom, doing errands with my mom. Uh, in, the, in the summer, I like to take my sister swimming, um, just things like that. Um, for hobbies... I guess I'm kind of a boring person. I like to read books. I have a lot of books to read during the school year, which isn't really my ideal reading material, but I got a lot of books for Christmas, so hopefully I'll have time to read those soon. Um, what makes me angry and what makes me happy? I think probably what makes me, the two things that make me most angry are people that are rude and people that are dishonest. Um, I really definitely admire a person who can be honest in any situation and not I mean not like a, a hateful honesty but like a helpful honesty definitely I would prefer that over over acting like there's not a problem or or lying about it so uh I really like people who are honest and people who treat others like you'd want to be treated and I know that's kind of a cliche but I think that's really just a great way to to great thing to live by so um, and what makes me happy? Um, having free time makes me happy, I guess. Um, but beyond that, like, achieving things that I've worked hard for definitely puts me in a really good mood. Um, reaching the goals I've set for myself, whether they're academic or personal, um, is something that puts me in a good mood. Um, tell us about any pets you have now or have had in the past. When I was five years old, my parents got me a Pomeranian, and I named her Katie. She was really small. I think she was the runt, or so I heard, but she was kind of small her whole life. Um, she was with me growing up, moving houses. Um, she was always there. And she, like as time went on, she kind of developed some problems. She had some kidney problems. She developed cataracts. She was just kind of like not doing so well, but it was kind of coming with age. So this past September, she was 15 years old, and uh, she passed away. So that was kind of a sad time, but she lived a really long life. Um, and I was glad to have her for as long as I did. And right now, my sister and I both have, uh, we each have a lion head rabbit. I have one named Toby, and my sister has one named Scooter. And they're almost a year old now. So they're cute. They're nice. Um, 
list five adjectives that would describe your personality. I had to write these down, and I don't know if these are completely accurate. Uh, for the first one, I put that I'm quirky, and I don't necessarily mean that in a bad way, just I have things that I like. For example, my favorite animal is a killer whale, and people are like, that's just strange. Like, why do you like that? And I'm like, I don't know, I just do. Um, I just kind of have my own things that I like, I guess, but I don't guess that's always a bad thing. Uh, I also put adventurous. Um, not that I, like, go run out in the fields, but more as a future term. I really hope in the future that I can travel, um, that I can go new places and see new things and kind of broaden my horizons eventually, not right now. Um, caring, I think I'm a really sympathetic person. I have a really hard time seeing someone struggling or in trouble or upset and not responding to it. Um, I, I think that goes back to the treat people the way you want to be treated thing because I know if I'm ever upset I kind of hope someone will come up and help me. I put that I'm serious and obviously I'm not serious all the time but when it comes to things that are really important um, work related or school related I'm maybe over serious I just kind of want to get things done the best I can and then I put that I'm friendly because I'm not I'm not really shy when it comes to talking to people I don't care to talk to new people um I really like making new friends so I think I'm kind of friendly and I think being an RA definitely helped with that because being an RA you can't be shy to talk to people um what do you imagine will be your favorite part of a PRC internship and your least favorite part? Um, I think my favorite part is going to be the whole experience of meeting everyone, of meeting everyone that works there, um, and also meeting the residents, the primates. I'm super excited about that. Um, I just think it'll be like a really rewarding experience and one that'll really help me just grow as a person um, and just learn new things. I think it'll help teach me the things that I need to know as far as animal care, animal husbandry, and just how to how to take care of wild animals and how to do the best I can at it. Um, and I'm just really looking forward to meeting everyone because I know in this field I don't, I mean, I don't know enough. So I would just love to take from other people and learn how to, how to grow and do good on my own. Um, and also I just kind of want to help promote the the environment that PRC works for, um, the safe environment, the the proper care for the animals. So I want to be a part of that. Um, and for my least favorite, I thought about this, and I'm not really sure what I wouldn't like. So I put the drive. I've never really liked driving that much. It's not a far drive for me, but I guess more than anything else I could think of, I don't like driving. So, um... And then the last question, I think, says, do you have any concerns about becoming an intern at the PRC? And my concern isn't really about becoming an intern. I guess it's more of not becoming an, an intern. My only concern right now is that there wouldn't be room for me or that I wouldn't be accepted. And that really worries me because I really want to do this. So um, I just really think this would be a good experience for me um, in the way of kind of fulfilling my dream of working with animals, like, really for the first time, um, and also establishing, like, friendships that I hope will continue on. So, I think that's all the questions. I'm sorry if I missed anything, but I think I got them. So, thanks for watching. Um, my email, I guess, will be with my application, so please email me back if there's anything I missed or anything I need to elaborate on, and I look forward to seeing some of you. Thank you.